Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to SGN. I am John Krasinski, and now let's get straight to the notes. That's right, even though the response to the first episode was incredibly positive, and for me, on a personal level, extremely emotionally overwhelming, at the Finn MK wanted me to know, it could be better. And I quote, Hey John Krasinski, I was watching your new show and couldn't help but think the intro needed more pop. First of all, how dare you? And second of all, you're right. So, let's run this back again, shall we? Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to SGN. I am John Krasinski, and if you were one of the ones that didn't think my intro could be better, that's because you were just too busy simply ripping me off. <laughs> that's right, in Okanagan, Canada, at Radio Kepler, anointed himself as my SGN co-anchor without consulting a lawyer. And he did a frustratingly good job. Temperatures are supposed to hit double digits by the weekend. So that's good news. Hey, there's no more paid parking at health authority sites. So that's good news. It looks like April Fool's Day has been canceled. Seriously, did anyone try and prank you today? Because if they did, that's kind of messed up, right? In Tennessee, an entire family got in on the copyright infringement as they brought the good news from down south. Thank, Thank you for watching some good news. Oh, and the intellectual property heist didn't stop there. No, it made its way all the way to Saigon. Good evening. Jamusan. And welcome to Some Good News Saigon. I'm your host, Prime. Yesterday we were inspired by a name a man named Yesterday we were inspired by a man named John Krasinski. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it is a tough one. It's pronounced Kreninki. Kreninki. And that kind of behavior is not only SGN approved, it's encouraged. Because I'm very well aware I am only delivering the good news. You are the good news. And with that, it's time for some good news. Last week, we brought you stories from the front line of healthcare heroes dedicating everything they had to keeping the world safe. Well, this week, help was on the way. In a public call of desperation, the word went out that what these heroes needed more than anything were supplies. And the entire world answered the call. From huge corporations to local pizza shops, a massive effort of resupply and rejuvenation kicked into high gear. In Pennsylvania, the factory of Fanatics Baseball Apparel, the official manufacturer of your favorite baseball team's uniforms, halted production on jerseys and used the same fabric to make medical masks and hospital gowns with built-in team spirit. Not to be shown up, hockey manufacturer Bauer seemed to say, I'll see your generous donation of hospital gowns and raise you essential protective face shields. And football also got involved when over 1 million N95 medical masks were delivered on the New England Patriots plane. Listen, I know you had something to do with this, Tom Brady, and even though you ripped my hat straight out of my chest a few weeks ago, by God, you put it right back in with this beautiful act of kindness. Nope. Tom Brady had absolutely nothing to do with that story. And the battle cry was answered not only by large companies, but by so many of you who joined the fight right from your very own homes. This week, mask making shockingly overtook Pinochle as the world's favorite hobby. In Michigan, the Romeo High School robotics team used 3D printers to make face shields for their local first responders. In Woodford, Kentucky, Ashley Lawrence, a college senior at Eastern Kentucky University, made masks specifically designed for the deaf and hard of hearing community. But the powerful desire to help each other out was not only focused on the hospitals, it was focused on the people right in your very own neighborhood. In Dallas, a community nonprofit was started to offer hot meals to their furloughed service industry employees. Teachers in Arkansas took to the streets to make sure their students kept their school spirit alive. What is this for? 
It's just a parade of teachers saying hi. That's awesome. In Michigan, one high school principal would not let quarantine prevent her from awarding the school's highest honor to a more than deserving graduate. Hi, Caitlin. Hi. So I got you on camera because I want to announce something to you today. Okay. You are GTA's 2020 class valedictorian. I am. You are. Oh my gosh, thank you so you much. You are. And in South Dakota, a 12-year-old girl was having trouble with her math homework. So what did her all-star teacher do? He just drove over to her house with a whiteboard and started teaching her right through the window. And this brings me to a segment I like to call, nice job, parents. Because speaking from experience, having only homeschooled for two weeks, I'm damn near at the end of my rope, and I'm only doing six-year-old math. For those of you with kids over six, good luck, and thank God for spring break. <laughs> Northwest, southeast. Hi everyone, my name is Major Tom Collins. I'm officer commanding 248 Gurkha Signal Squadron, 22 Signal Regiment. <laughs> and so what we thought we'd do today is show you us making a uh, improvised shelter. I'd just like to say a huge, huge thank you to everyone involved in the wine industry right now. <laughs> All that is so terrifying. We here at SGN would like to start a petition that all teachers get paid $1.71 million per day. And now for a check on the weather, we go to meteorologist Robert De Niro. Bob, how's the weather looking? Looks, uh, looks pretty good. And that brings us to our final segment of the show called, What Did I Miss? In these bizarre times, so many of us are missing out on the things we love on the people we love, and on the chance to just all get together. But you can't let that stop you. Just like in St. Petersburg, Florida, this one golf dad sinks a hole in one, while his daughter single-handedly brings back Booyah. Off the roof, in the cup. Oh, I like that. Come to Papa. Come to Papa! Ah! In Israel, when there are no openings at the salon, one husband asks, how hard can it be? For one mother, date night has always been a weekly necessity. Well, her family wasn't gonna let her down now. And in Argentina, not even COVID can prevent two young lovers from getting to the altar. And your favorite amusement park shut down? Don't worry, your favorite dad's got you covered. sadly, there was one little girl whose dream could not come true because her long-awaited Hamilton experience was canceled. Luckily, she toughed it out, though, turning to the one person she can always count on, Mary Poppins. For more on this story, we go now to our heartbreak correspondent, Aubrey. Hi. You've had a rough week, I hear. Mm -hmm. I heard you're a big uh, Hamilton fan. Mm -hmm. Scale of one to ten, what do we think? Are we a... Are we a Seven or eight or? Million. A million. Wow. That's amazing. And you didn't get to see it? This Corona thing, it's a real bummer, isn't it? Yeah. But, you know, the social distancing thing is very important. So I have a deal for you. When it's all over, I will fly you and your mom to New York and you will see Hamilton on Broadway. How does that sound? Booge. Yeah. Now, listen, Aubrey, let's be honest, right? No matter how much bribery... I get away with with you. I don't think I'm ever gonna rise to number one on your fan list, am I? Something tells me you might be a bigger fan of my wife than mine. I'm about the same. Really, you like Mary Poppins as much as Jack Ryan? Is that true? I think you're lying. I've never really seen um, The Office or whatever. Uh, excuse, <laughs> excuse me? Oh, okay. I've seen a I'm bunch of memes here. on it. Well, since you haven't seen The Office, I'll do you one better. Meet Mary Poppins. Hi, Aubrey. Do you like Mary Poppins Returns? I watched it um, two nights ago. You did? Do you have a favorite bit? I like the Tower of London part where, where the Learys climb the Tower of London. 
your mom tweeted and said that when you couldn't go to Hamilton, you watch Mary Poppins Returns. Mm -hmm. That's a good cheer up movie. I love hearing that. Since Women Will Miranda kind of was in it on one Broadway, it was kind of the same. He is in it. Um, I mean, he's not like the best part of it, obviously. Clearly, I'm the best part of it. Yeah, Lynn is not a good part in the movie. He yeah. is a okay part. He's kind of like a backup dancer. He's kind of like a backup dancer, I would yeah, say. He's yeah, he's kind of like a like a b-boy. I something. mean, I forget that he's even in there. Hello? Oh, wow. Hang on a second. I was wow. in the office. Women will Miranda? He just joined. Oh, oh wait. <sighs> Hey, Lynn, I didn't know you could Zoom bomb, man. That's uh, a yeah, little Lynn, weird. Yeah, this is a Zoom bomb. She's here to see Mary Poppins, not Jack the Lamplighter. Yeah, okay? exactly. Hi, Aubrey. How are you? Uh, I'm Good. so sorry you didn't get to see Hamilton. I'm so glad to meet you. <laughs> oh, my God. Hi. Oh, um, man, Lynn, thank you so much for stopping by, but uh, we, we pretty much got it handled now. We, thanks, I just, Lynn. We're good. We did a really classy thing. We sent her tickets. Oh, are you a big office man? Nope, she's no, not I'm, really see it. All. I'm a big Actually, fan of the memes of it, though. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thanks for bringing that up, Lynn. That was a sore like subject. The... <laughs> but we, um, we're sending her to New York, Lynn, and we're going to send her to Hamilton in New York. Well, that's amazing. Um, I, I think we can top that right now, though. Oh, wait. Something oh, wait, oh, wait. Sorry. There are a bunch of people just joining. <laughs> that's my favorite song from Hamilton.
if you can't go to Hamilton, we're bringing Hamilton to you. Hey. Thank you so much, Aubrey. Have an amazing thank you, day. Aubrey. We love you. Thanks, Aubrey. 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 Thanks, Aubrey. 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 We love you. Aubrey. 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 Thank you so Bye, much. Bye, Hamilton. Thank you. Bye, Hamilton. Thank you, Aubrey. Good to see you. We love you. We love you. <laughs> thank you. Oh, man. My brain is broken. And I've also made my wife disappear. I'm John Krasinski, this is SGN, asking you to remember, no matter how dark it gets, there is always good in the world. Thank you so much for coming back, and we'll see you next week. Good night. I am not going to leave my house. I am not going to leave my house. Hey, yo, I'm feeling pretty lazy and going stir crazy, but I'm not going to leave my house. I'm going to stay inside of self-quarantine to help flatten the curve of COVID. We gotta stop this before it gets too extreme But I've been inside so long that I just might scream Yo, I haven't changed my sweatpants in about three days I'm in a craze from like a surprise Yo, it's disgraceful Only workout when tagged on Instagram I gotta wash my hands and I'm like, damn